Hi guys. <clears throat> so a lot of students ask me which universities are good, which universities are bad, and so on in Germany. And uh, and the thing is that it depends a lot on what kind of course you do and so on. So what I'll do today is I'll only talk about the top universities. If you're not getting into the top universities in Germany, then obviously you can pick anything. But uh, there are let's say 10 to 15 universities which are really good for very specific things. So we will go through a lot of content today. I'll speed it up. And if you do not capture any of this information, you can always ask for a PDF document. I'll send you by email or by WhatsApp. So let's quickly start with uh, with what we will cover today. So what we'll cover today is the um, German Public University Excellence Program. So this was a this is an old program, maybe 10, 15 years back, where our uh, German government said that we need to build this excellence university or excellent university uh, program. And um, and the purpose was that every university they said is good at something, and we want to promote scientific research in particular universities for high end stuff. And so if you're, for example, studying, I don't know, um, engine design, then there are particular universities where the engine design will be exceptionally good. Now, uh, in 2019, I haven't checked the list of 2020, but it's not very different. Um, there were there were uh, 13 universities which were, let's say the top universities, and these top universities are not top in everything. They have to be top in something. For example, the FU Berlin, uh, Free University in Berlin, is uh, is good, let's say, for humanities. But it's uh, but if you want to study something specific in technology, then you have to go to TUM in Munich. So there are different universities which are good for different purposes, and each university is heavily funded by this excellence program. And don't think that this excellence spelling is wrong uh, with this Z. The, the thing is that in German, that's how it is spelled. So once you start learning German, you will figure out that uh, the spellings are a little bit different than in English. So that is why you see here uh, the excellence cluster um, is uh, spelled differently. Yeah. Uh, so which are these universities? These universities are as, you know, Aachen uh, for technology, then Dresden, Hamburg, uh, then Heidelberg, and so on. So these are 13 universities. Um, I'll put these universities also as a as a long list in the YouTube uh, description. You can check them out. But these are the universities which people usually talk about. Yeah, and they are all spread across Germany. It's not like it's only in north or only in west. It's spread in east, west, south, everywhere. And. And actually, for each cluster, they get a lot of money. I think this money has also increased. The earlier, they were getting like 600, uh, six and a half million euros. Now, I think they are getting even more. So, uh, so there is a lot of money which these universities get for, um, for this. The, and then, I think the important thing, because this is all just blah, blah for you, right? So, for engineering students, what is which universities are good? For science, geography students, what universities are good? For biomedical, which universities are good? For humanities, which universities are good? I think this information is very important. So for example, if you're going for humanities, right, then uh, you should target, let's say, Free University of Berlin, as I said in the beginning. Uh, there are other universities also. And then once, so there are three layers. So the first layer is that you need to know, okay, I'm interested in humanities or I'm interested in engineering. So here we are taking example of humanities. So that is the first thing you need to answer. The second thing you need to answer is, okay, um, which universities am I interested in? So there are these top universities which are mentioned here, for example, right? Uh, FU Berlin or University of Münster. Now, maybe University of Münster is not the excellence or the excellent university, but it still is good for, um, for religion and politics. Um, so if you want to do this religion and politics in pre-modern and modern cultures, then obviously you go to this university. And University of Cologne, for example. Um, so every university has a different specialization. So this is really important for you guys to understand that all universities are not good for everything. Uh, there are universities which are good for something. There are universities which are not good for something. And this document actually can help you a lot in 
terms of selection. For example, let's look at engineering disciplines because I, I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of engineers who listen to my, my podcasts. So the first one is this one, um, let's say Aachen, right? So computational engineering, if you have studied uh, computational engineering in Aachen, that's super good. Uh, Gottingen, right? Then nanometer, nanome nanometry or uh, uh, microscopy. These kinds of things are popular there. Karlsruhe. Um, I actually do not know much about nanometer range. I'm a civil engineer, so uh, I don't know much about the topic, uh, to be honest. But let's say Karlsruhe, Karlsruhe nanostructures. Um, functional nanostructures, uh, Technical University of Munich. So there's a lot of AI work also happening in that, or artificial intelligence work also happening in, in Munich right now. Uh, cognition of uh, technical systems. So that is, I think, uh, more or less uh, going into robotics and, and technical systems and uh, automated plants and, and IoT or Industry 4.0 as it's called. Um, so each university has some kind of specialization. So uh, Darmstadt, uh, you know, smart interfaces by um, fluid boundaries. So fluid dynamics is a very important topic, especially when it comes to civil engineering. So Darmstadt is the university you want to go to. Uh, energy science, if you want to make a career in renewable energy, clean tech, all the wind turbine, solar stuff, then you have to look at Darmstadt. Material science, so metallurgy. So a lot of students from engineering, you know, they, uh, they don't know, you know, they just think, okay, I have to go to Munich or I have to go to Berlin and it's fine. You can go there, but if you really want to learn a hell lot of stuff, then you actually have to go to Nuremberg because there is a lot of stuff. And I know that because I was in Nuremberg um, for my previous company where I used to work. So, so I know that there is a lot of advanced uh, material science work, which happens. So what is material science? Material science is very, in a very simple word, right? A car is made of plastic, steel, um, and some other metals. So how do you, which metals we should use? Uh, how, what is the interaction between these different materials and so on? So that is what is covered in material science. I'm explaining it in a very crude, basic way, but obviously um, people who have done metallurgy, uh, bachelors would understand. Uh, quantum engineering, space-time research, um, Hanover, now, somebody may say, you know, Hanover is a small location. But again, if you have to specialize in certain fields, you have to pick certain universities. So, so these are simulation, uh, manufacturing, engineering in Stuttgart. So you have to really, guys, again and again and again, I'm saying mines, for example, material science. You have to really look into uh, what kind of specialization you want to go for and then look at those universities, ultra fast uh, imaging, um, it's Hamburg University. I'm going through a lot of technical detail because I think the problem is that a lot of students who end up in Germany, right? If you are just uh, taking advice from somebody very generic, you will end up in any university and it's not going to help you. I think you should get very specific advice like, okay, I want to do engine design. So where should I do engine design? Because if you are that specific, then you know, things become much easier because your recommendation letters, your projects in, in, in India or in other parts of Asia or Pakistan, wherever you are coming from, your projects will become very, very uh, particular. So um, it will help you even during your master's. So get as specific as possible, like what you really want to do, see whether you want to do fluid boundaries, fluid dynamics, energy science, whether you want to do manufacturing, engineering, and it's not just manufacturing engineering, there are a ton of uh, things below manufacturing engineering. Uh, similar thing for, for science uh, students, I'll not get into the detail of it. I'll just put it up as a link. Biomedical, same stuff, you know, biomedical, Heidelberg is, um, Heidelberg, cellular networks, um, Munich, protein science. So, you need to really know this neurosciences is also Munich and in Berlin, mind and brain, neurological disorders. 
So all this is not a, you know, easy to get information. All this is very, very important information. And you should really seek out this information, like which university is good for uh, different topics and then get into the detail because once you end up in Germany, then you think, oh shit, you know, I just doing some generic stuff and it will not really help you even to get a job. So I'm just highlighting a few things. And obviously, um, depending on what kind of masters, bachelors you're shooting for, you should really read through this document properly. Let's quickly look at humanities. Uh, it's Heidelberg, Münster, Cologne, Munich, Regensburg, these kinds of universities. And for example, somebody wants to study Muslim cultures. And then obviously you have to study in uh, FU Berlin. So this is a little bit about, and the same thing for social science. Um, I'll not, if you want me to get through, go through detail of each of these, then I can. But what I usually do is that if a student is ready in the detailed discussions, so there are two options for profile review. You can send me a WhatsApp. Um, you can just uh, WhatsApp me. Um, and then once you WhatsApp me, you can say, you know, um, sir, I just want uh, you to look at my profile, whether I'll get an admission in, in, in Germany or not. I'll do that very quickly. That is one option. I'll do that free of cost. But you also have a paid version. And that is something which I highly recommend because it's not very expensive. And at the same time, it's very useful because you really need to get into the details of everything. Like, okay, which university? Uh, I've just shown you like, you know, there are five different universities, and 10 different specializations. So you really need to know, uh, okay, you know, University of Mannheim, uh, economics, social sciences. So all universities are not created equal or universities are not getting similar amount of money when it comes to public universities. Private universities is a different ballgame altogether. So once we get into these one-on-one -on -one, uh, detailed calls, then in the, these detailed calls, you know, you will get this benefit that uh, we will apply to universities depending on your, depending on your profile and your, your, expectations and what is happening also is that a lot of students who are approaching me have very unrealistic expectations like you have done mechanical engineering suddenly you want to do artificial intelligence that's not going to happen or that's the chances of that happening is very low so i would really um i would really suggest you guys that focus focus on on linking your previous experience to to where you want to go uh, in terms of ne your next job, next work, and higher studies. Finally, um, so this is, you know, for social science, just a quick review, social science, humanities, um, biomedical, engineering, um, science, etc. We looked at what kind of universities are specializing in what. And this is a super important information. This is super important. And, and this has to be mastered before you, you, you go to Germany. Now, each university has different flavor. <clears throat> so then I'll just today talk about uh, two universities. One is in Aachen and the second one is um, FU in Berlin. So Aachen is, um, is more a technical university and it's, it has, it says like 50,000 students, 600 professors and so on. And international students actually are about 20% <clears throat> now. It is part of uh, these top universities. So if you are getting into Aachen, then you should really go to Aachen. Even though the city is small, um, it is pretty close to Netherlands and Belgium. So you can also hop on to, to Amsterdam, go there and do some, you know, for weekends, go there and enjoy yourself. But um, the location is super nice, even though it's a very, very small, small, um, small city. So mechanical manufacturing, the idea for Aachen was also at some point to attract international students a lot more than some of the other German universities are doing. And Aachen has been actually quite successful in doing that. Uh, if you look at the last 10 years, I think there was a student with me uh, who took my guidance maybe two years back, uh, who was not sure between TUM Munich and Aachen. And finally he went to Aachen and what he really liked about Aachen was that the prices are lower. Prices for apartments, rental, cost of living is lower. And the quality of education is similar in TUM, um, Technical University of Munich, and Aachen. Uh, and the exposure also is very similar. So from a studies perspective, it doesn't really matter whether you are in a small city or a big city. 
so if you're picking a picking up a university like TUM Munich which is in a big city versus uh Aachen University which is in a small city it really shouldn't matter uh, so this student ended up going to Aachen and he was very happy and now he's uh, um i think he might have already secured a job because he was interviewing so so all um and this is you know computer science and mobile communications and all that uh, these guys are pretty good so aachen is a pretty good technical university and then uh, fu berlin fu berlin was uh, founded in in 1948 india got independence in 1947 and this is more if you read about the history it's quite interesting because these guys thought that they were suppressed by the eastern german so in east germany and west germany were two different countries east germany was primarily socialist or communist and then west germany was more american influence there were two countries so germany was not one it was two countries until 1990 or so and then the berlin wall came down i think it was 89 or 90 and so these guys in 1948 some of the professors went from east to west and they formed their own university because they thought that they wanted to have their academic freedom so this is more of a liberal arts humanities kind of an institute um political science international relations um and all those kinds of things so some of these things you will not really uh see indian students applying for but there is a lot of scope when it comes to job opportunities i have seen mostly engineers going to germany for studies but i would highly encourage that people from humanities or liberal arts backgrounds and so on should also start looking for for masters you have a better chance of getting scholarship competition is less and you will find uh something useful for yourself um in terms of employment and then you know some other things like ancient civilization studies it looks like all um, uh, blah blah but in the end i mean these uh, or even culture and media cultural diversity analysis and so on <clears throat> so these things can actually uh end up becoming very important in next 5 to 10 years so so this this is uh again one more thing the final thing which is that uh fu berlin is ranked uh, right after oxford in europe so oxford is number 1 when it comes to humanities and right after oxford you get uh, you get fu berlin so don't think that that um, that fu berlin is um is a bad university not at all it's a it's number 2 university in europe when it comes to humanities all right guys so just a quick review in the end we talked about two particular universities um uh aachen and um, fu berlin before that we talked about special uh, courses humanities social sciences and so on we also talked about uh engineering in detail like each university for engineering has a different flavor and in the beginning we talked about these top universities uh which you should obviously target first uh, but don't get disheartened uh, if you're not able to get into one, one of these top uh, 13 universities you have a lot of options as we discussed you have university in nuremberg in hanover in in stuttgart everywhere so if you are for example studying material science as i said go to mainz or go to nuremberg and it's perfectly okay so guys this is a little bit more detailed i don't want to keep uh, make a long video uh, with this but all this information is there and you have two options the first option is you send me your cv or your profile by whatsapp and i'll give you a very quick um quick free free of cost a profile review on whatsapp please do not call me um and because you know i get so many calls because of um, all these videos nowadays that it's very difficult to keep track and the second thing is that you can also go for a detailed because in the end every individual is different you have a different profile you are coming from different universities you are uh you have studied differently your courses have been different and so on so which university would work better for you uh is a very detailed discussion that service is paid so i can support with that and then uh, we'll go through your cv and then we'll say okay you know you should apply to these five universities um depending on your interest and depending on your future outlook and your 
previous experiences all right guys so that was uh, that was it i hope you guys enjoyed it and um, and we will see each other in the next one until then all the best good luck bye bye